Hi folks, welcome back to Betty's channel. She's doing the do. As always, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Tell us what you all think. It's a nice channel, this. You can also check out um, at Ten Pound an Hour channel as well. That's my new channel for me. Ten Pound an Hour work because that's all I charge. Ten Pound an Hour. Happy days. Anyway, I'll put a link in below. We're on with Betty today. Big job. Massive job. So I've got a helper coming, it's James from yesterday who did the uh, solar panels for his camper van. I'll just show you what's what. Today, that sliding door is coming off and it's going to be cleaned, insulated, carpeted, because you see it's filthy. Uh, they've buried as well. The reason the door has to come off is because I'm a bit of a knob. Because what did I do? Did I build this van correctly like everybody else builds vans? No! What did I do? I built the kitchen. And that comes out halfway into Thorpman. So, because I'm a knob, I can't get to insulate it and vapor barrier and carpet it. So, it's got to come off. Look at the lads who did the window. Didn't have to take it off, they, 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 they cut out the window uh, by leaning right in that corner of the kitchen drilling it and they, they obviously cut it from inside, but that's another story. So, it's a heavy door now with the window in it, and so I need a helper. Luckily, two bolts, two bolts, and that'll slide just out of the uh, sliding rail when the other bolts are undone. So. Not a massive job, but a big job. There's a difference between big and massive, you know what I mean, fellas? I feel it is. Anyway, let's see if we crack on. The weather is supposed to be cloudy, but not raining. It's been spitting a bit this morning. If it continues to rain, we're going to have to decamp to um, a barn that I know that she, the farm wants that we can use. Um, so that'll be like in Cheshire, where, where Paul's van is. But, see we get on, I'll come back to you, either here, or in the barn. See you in a bit. Whilst I'm waiting for James to turn up, I just thought I'd start framing out the other side of the window. As luck would have it, that distance across there is the same distance as that across there. So, the window should look pretty square when it's all cladded up. Happy days! I've put that up right on, and I've put a batten across the bottom, just glued on my Sikaflex at the moment, and that should be fine. I might put a couple of little L shaped brackets on each corner where it's set, and maybe one screw through the middle into the bodywork of the van. But it is square ish for a van, so once that's set, I can put the bottom piece of cladding on. Top piece of cladding on, and then the little pieces up there. And that should finish the window. Well, it won't finish the window frame because I've got to put the flat piece. Fat, fat. Did you just call me fat? The flat pieces of cladding across the reveal to the window. So yeah, it's quite nice that. Side doors off. It weren't that big of a job, were it, James? No, not at all. Excellent. James Why? carried it on his own. He carried it on his own. Just have to be careful when putting it back on, make sure both holes are in the right place. One nice clean door, and James has cut the door panel out of 5mm ply. Happy it is. Look at that, he's done a good job. Insulated. Starting to carpet in the door. It's looking alright. Carpeting after you've done built stuff is a nightmare. I mean, look at it. It looks alright. Just trim around edges now, those James are doing his bit. Wee bit. Yeah, twenty pound an hour, man. Actually, it's looking really good. Yeah. The difficult bit is rehanging the bugger. Bless him. That looks all right, though. But unfortunately, I've got the wrong colour carpet, so I might change all that carpet in now. Just where you can see. What a job that was, but it looks alright. 
then she'll let it carpet itself. That's the door done. I'm going to show it you, but and I'm going to change that colour carpet to that colour because it's actually a lot better than that light grey. Matches the uh, curtains. Lap it is. So now, as the weather is okay, I'm going to cut a hole in the roof and fit the vent. Now I can finish the ceiling off. Marked it out, drilled my four holes. Going to use a jigsaw, powered by the Eco Floor River 2 Pro. Boom. One hole. Hello down there. All cut, cleaned up. I'm just going to um, put some uh, paint on it just to stop it rotting. Mastic ceiling strips just to build up to the top of these um, ribs are ready for the sicker flex. I'm just going to see if the fan sits on there are okay before I peel off the last bits and I'm going to sicker flex the bugger out of it. Well, that fits okay. So it's ready for sicker flexing now. I'm just going to um, put a couple of screws in the roof just to hold it on. Ideally, you should make a frame first and let it set and then put the um, vent in. But unfortunately, the weather looks like it's about to turn, so I'm going to sick flex in this. We'll screw it down so it's solid, uh, clean it up, and it's exactly what I did with the back vent. And I built the frame afterwards. And then what I'll do is I'll put four screws into the uh, into the wood and hopefully that'll uh, sort it finger crossed right that's the vent on sicker flex to fook uh, like i said there's four screws holding it down to the roof to to, to hold it down to the roof so the sicker flex can seal properly it's never an easy job when you sicker flex in um, anything on your roof because obviously you need to make sure it's uh, set so I think it's going to rain later fingers crossed this is set before it rains if not I'll have to deal with any leaks and then put a shitload more on let's have a look, like what, it, let's have a look what it looks like inside right at the minute that's what it looks like inside these two are the wires for the fan they'll run behind that cladding to the switches I've got a little light resistor as well where I can turn the speed up or down of the fan um, I'm going to cut out obviously going to cut out around um, the polystyrene so I can get the battens in the battens are going to have to be doubled up like they were on the back one but yeah it's not bad I really hate doing these and it's only cheap, it's only cheap um, fan anyway, it's not, you know, only about 60 quid I think, it's not like a Max Air fan. But they work, and hopefully it won't leak. So I'm just going to put the um, cover on for the time being, because I'm not touching that now, at all. Until it's uh, set. And then I can finish the cladding off. All this cladding. Yeah, it'll keep it very pretty. But yeah. I keep saying but yeah. Everybody says but yeah on videos. But yeah. But yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Anyway, the, right, so. I think I'm going to leave this video today because I've done quite a bit. With James it up, I've done the door. There. So I want some dinner because I'm starving. It's going to be ham and cheese, isn't it? Well, ham and cheese. So, right, that's done. And all that should be set by tomorrow. So I can continue that cladding. So it's all go. Dirty fingers. Mmm, dirty. Right, that's it for this episode. I'll end it here, but I'm just going to have some dinner. Let me show you what I'm having. Ham and cheese butties, Aldi Pringles and a bud. Bought from Aldi. Boom. Happy days. Got a lot done today. 
Use lots of Sikaflex. Use lots of glue. Done some carpeting. I do need to set it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, which I'll do over all the time. But I just wanted to get it done. So that, that door is done. Vent's done on the outside. Just got to do all the inside now. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Give us a like and subscribe. But drop a comment down below. Tell us what you all think. Because it's ace. I, I think it's ace. Bay 2's ace. I'm ace. YouTube's ace. So we'll get us 10,000 subscribers. I don't have to work anymore. Oh, I don't work anyway because I'm retired. Hey, <laughs> keep doing what you do. And thanks to James for helping today.